Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you locker hooking for beginners. Locker hooking is a vintage fiber art technique used to create a rug, pillow, handbag, hot pad, wall hanging, and more. It helps if you can find a locker hook kit, which contains everything you need. I have links on my website for where I get mine. If you can't find a kit, you can still get the basic supplies. The first thing you need is a mesh canvas, sometimes known as a latch hook canvas or rug canvas. Then you'll need a locker hook. A locker hook has a crochet hook on one end and a yarn needle eye on the other. If you don't have one, take a crochet hook and a yarn needle and tape them together to form a locker hook. You'll also need some type of fiber that sits on top, such as fabric, ribbon, or yarn. Then the locking fiber is either twine, string, or basic yarn. I'm using a t-shirt yarn with some regular acrylic yarn and my canvas. I'm threading the regular yarn through the yarn needle part of the hook to serve as the locking fiber. You'll want to first lock the locking fiber into place, either by tying and knotting it to the canvas or just going in and out of a square several times. The t-shirt yarn will be held in the back of the canvas. This will end up showing in the front of the work. Then we use our crochet hook part to draw through a loop. And then in the next square, draw through another loop. And our third loop. We don't lift the hook too high, just enough to go against the canvas. Then take the locking yarn and pull it through. Then we work with the next three loops, drawing them up. Then lock it in place with the locking yarn. You can see how the locking yarn keeps the loops in place. We can use this technique with cotton fabric, or if you have super bulky weight yarn, it works great for drawing up loops. I'm working with only three loops at a time now and drawing through. But feel free as you get more familiar with the technique to draw up as many loops all at once on the hook. Then pull through the locking yarn. Now when you get to the end of the one color, you can just turn your work sideways or upside down and work in the other direction with drawing up loops and pulling the yarn through. And then the next row work the same as the first row. Now, weaving in the ends is important as it is in crochet, knitting, and general sewing. With rugs and pillows, I like to secure the end with either a little nail polish or glue. Now, in a kit, the canvas's edges are sewn nicely. But if you are using your own canvas, it helps to fold over about two squares worth and then do an overcast stitch along the edge with fabric or yarn to help tidy it up nicely. And that's it. That's the basics of locker hooking. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.